Hello all, Havoc here. Alright, so today's episode, we're going to go over what I did uh, over on Discord. And then uh, we're going to go ahead and get started on some of the bigger shenanigans I got going on. <laughs> if this isn't big enough. So I got uh, all the cribbing in place to get started on placing refineries. To get them supported. All the internal piping is done. Let's go ahead and take a look inside there. Yeah, look at that like it so at the bottom we have uh, four bobs and then we'll have four more at the top up here at the uh, the point of connections and then this all needs to go away this is this is the shenanigans I want to work on today I want to get this pipe out this pipe out join them and then do the same thing over here and then eventually work towards getting over to there. Once all those are in place, everything up top goes, oh, hey, <laughs> how's it going, orcs? I highly do not recommend coming down here. So I had an icon ship fly by. It was about three and a half clicks out. Yeah, it ended up crashing right over there. Just didn't stand a chance. So... No, no, he's headed away. So he's already decided he doesn't want to be here. All right. So this, uh, those comments about why are you using these auto cannons when you can use large grid auto cannons? The difference is, is that a large grid auto cannons take up three spaces. This takes up one. So that's why I went with these guys. I know it's a bunch of shenanigans to get it to work, but yeah, still. Okay, uh, that audio bug, bug is still there, so we have no game audio right now. Um, as of right now, the only thing I haven't tested is that it's uh, positional. I think I talked about it a little bit in the last episode, that it's something related to where we're at. If that's the case, I don't know how to fix it, because I don't want to pack up. So, all right, um, also, uh, it was stated a uh, episode ago or a couple episodes ago that I need to make the bobs. I need to put bobs in that grid where I put all my turrets, and I don't, and here's why. All the bobs that are way down there are covering my turrets. So all the damage that's going to happen up here is going to be superficial. And everything that's important as far as the bobs, the piping network, and everything is going to be deep. And so, yeah, all the repairs, things land here, they'll get disassembled. And I won't have to worry about it because all this is going to go away, remember? So, yeah, I think overall this setup should be pretty potent. Yeah, over here. Where I parked that at? Oh, yeah. See, look how far down we are. That's quite a ways. And, oh, wrong one. One more pop. Nope, no. Didn't want to. Where's the... Oh, where's you? Yeah, I don't know what's going on with that. That's... It, that's super frustrating. I've made so many modifications to things and with testing it's you make a small change and test and small change and test and it's just unloading the game, reloading the game, resetting, changing drivers. It's it every single iteration takes a large amount of time. So uh, I want to get this guy moved because we're going to use his med bay. To uh, visit. And then we're going to use his bobs to help tear stuff apart. Okay. Good? All right. Yeah, buddy. So let's get with 
that. So this all needs to come out because I need to work here. So this can come out. Okay. Wasn't sure if, oh my goodness. <laughs> Alright, I think that's going to work. Come on here. Alright. So I'll get all of this tore out to there. And then this all needs to come out. I'm going to just take a part to this next floor. To there. Because... I'm more concerned about getting uh, this other arm built than that other shenanigans tore out. So, okay. And it seems across the board, everybody's intrigued on how I want to do this, because it's a pretty common discussion over in Discord. So. All right, so paint, let's get to, I'm gonna use the blue. Decided that when we started on the container section. And so, I was brought up that I should install the long pipe mod, and I agree. All right, so if I go to a hinge now, it's gonna be rough, <laughs> to say the least. Uh, all right, let's do a 90 to a hinge. Like that. Okay. And let's go ahead, velocity that. Oop. How come? Hmm. I'm not used to how this works. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Back to zero. Good enough. Okay. Um, all right, and then five straight pipe. I have no idea where I am. I think that's actually pretty good. Okay, and then we're gonna put another one of you on here to make that final connection simple. Okay, five. See, this is different than that side. Am I okay with that? Oh, I double 90, that's why. Okay, I thought it seemed weird. Okay. There we go, yeah. It's like, it just doesn't look right. <laughs> Come on, help me out here, Bob. Why doesn't this look great? Bob's not gonna help. Right. 
Okay. There we go. That's what I was after. Getting some welding done. Okay, control panel. Just gonna do it in here. I'm not used to uh except for it doesn't want to go to that control panel. Can I just grab this? No. Okay. That should about do it. And then there's going to be some, uh, some finagling where I'm just going to end up having to drag one back towards the other and vice versa. So I'm hoping, oh yeah, we can get them really close. All right, cool. I just need to bring this out a couple. There we go. Oh yeah, right there. Perfect. Okay, now we throw one of you on here. Iron crew. Oh, icon. I don't know why I said I saw iron. Where are you? Okay. Okay, so touch on the too close side. So now we do this. Okay. And stop. So in theory, oh, there we go. Come on. Yeah, this is gonna take some getting used to. I honestly had avoided updating build info. There it is. And just like that, Can I just, what I have to do is it enter? No. Um, okay. I don't know how, <laughs> I don't know how to make it work. Switch lock. So there it is. So now those two grids are connected. It's out of the way. They're two, they will become two subgrids. Yeah. And then I'm going to do it around here as well. And then again, and then again. So if one of these breaks, it'll still be able to pipe the other way. Um, there are some limitations to this, uh, such as uh, build planner does not pull across subgrids. So if I want to use build planner, I'm going to have to come over to this grid to pull inventory because this grid's the only one that's going to have true storage true cargo storage so um yeah i'm going to the assemblers are going to be set up to not excuse me they're not going to hold any inventory if they're producing is one thing but uh anything outside of production level uh, i'm going to have izzy moving everything back. Uh, I've uninstalled the quota quality of life mod because I'm going to be using Izzy. Izzy will do do better once I have all this. Once I have everything labeled and named, it, it will perform better. So, All right. That's the, that's the hard part. I mean, legitimately, that is the hardest part is just to get... And that's actually pretty close 
to in the corner where I wanted it. So, oh, that's awesome. All right, uh, so let's change this one. Oh, let's bring B60 over. Now we can make that other connection. Once that other connection's done, we can start disassembling the entire upper stage. Uh, we'll call that stage one of the base. There's so much room for activities down here. Uh, battle barges, multiple battle barges can be printed down here. Okay. And in theory, this isn't as big as I want to go. Um, I would like to go, like I said, another stage outward drilling, but I don't know how I feel about that for long term. So I'm going to use an anchor point. I'm going to do this here. I thought about using a bob right there, but I have a bob right there. So there's not really a point to that. So we're going to go like that, and then we'll do the 90s out. Um, ah, yeah, it's going to take some getting used to. Too much. That'll work. Okay. Yeah, buddy. Let's just hammer away at this. Get out there too much. Not enough. Let's go ahead and get the other one. And then we'll balance it from there. Okay. Come on. There we go. All right. Say about there. Oh, no, 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 stop. I didn't realize I hadn't left. So I was selecting and, oh, that's definitely, I don't feel like that's enough of an angle. I'd have to redo that. Just gonna grab from the container itself. Let's get rid of that, 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 and more of that. Perfect. Okay. Um. Yeah, that's gotta go. Let's take a step back. So we need to move this one and come towards that one. That one's drastically longer than this one at this point, so. Oink. That'll work. Okay. How's that looking? That looks more better. Okay. Five. Do it. Okay. Okay. I still think this one needs to come out more. 
They're both at 25-ish. Oh, come on. Oh, that looks better. Oh, by a lot. Okay, so we're gonna go five. I don't think, actually, I don't think I needed that one. We need the hinge to, for that final point of connection. And then six. Yeah, too much. Now, these aren't necessary, these final hinges, because I could, in theory, make this work. But, let's see, I'm going to pull that back a couple degrees, and they're probably going to line up just fine. Let's go with that. Let's take a look. Oh, yeah. Go to about there. Okay. Nope. <laughs> They're so close. Okay. Oh, come on. No. Okay. So I'm gonna bring this one out here. It shouldn't have taken much. I think they're very, very close. I'm gonna bring this one out of here as well, and that should about do it. It stopped on its own, so yeah, there it is. Oh, look how nice that one is. Cool. There it is. So, next episode, disassemble. We're just going to call this top base Johnny 5 because it is going to get disassembled. Uh, all the buckets will get pulled down. Oh, we got artillery shooting at parallax. All right. <laughs> Fireworks to uh, end the episode with. Oh, look at those secondaries. Whoa. Looked up just in time for that. Sweet. So, yeah, next episode we will be uh, disassembling everything we're standing on. Uh, it's all going to get moved down below. If it is a part... Whoa. What is... I think we're hitting our own stuff. We're shooting our own subgrids. Just not cool, guys. Yeah, they're hitting our own subgrids. Well, this won't be a problem after next episode. So thanks for being here. I hope you guys enjoyed the episode, the shenanigans involved. It's pretty heavy at this point, making these subgrids like this. So this is Havoc. Have fun, and keep gaming.